Hi everyone. Um, today's recipe that we are going to make or that my family are going to have to eat is um, Samoan flat pancakes or pangikike mafolofola. They call it in Samoan. Okay, this is a very, very simple recipe. I love this recipe because it's very simple and because you just need flour, sugar, egg, water, and oil. Okay, it is not deep fried. So um, you can add about um, baking powder to it, but it's good without it. So we, I like it both, but this one has no baking powder. So I will give you how it's made and I hope you get to enjoy this recipe. Right here, I have the dry ingredients, which is four cups of flour and one cup of sugar. Sorry, I had to adjust the camera there. But, um, and then I'm gonna add the egg into here. Okay. So here's the egg, and I'm gonna preheat the oil. Okay, the oil is not so much. You can use, um, I usually use about two to three tablespoons of oil. Yes. I'm just gonna, maybe I should wait just a little bit. And now I'm gonna mix this. And this is three and a half cups of water. Um, it's room temperature water. So, and I'm gonna pour it in here. And then you're gonna mix it. I've never mixed the pancakes using a beater or a mixer or anything like that. I've always mixed it with my hand. There's a, the reason why is because if you overbeat the pancakes or any dough, it's gonna be rubbery. So you get used to mixing with your hands. That's why I have the worst cup. <laughs> but it's it's fine. I wanted bangkeke today. Um, this is one of those recipes that you can adjust to your liking. I like it really thin. The uh, bangkeke that is. I like it very thin. So. And crispy. My husband said crispy. <laughs> yeah. So I pour in the whole uh, thing of water there. And, and it's our family favorite, this one. And I love it because it's so simple. Nothing else I need to, and the kids love it. So what I usually do, this is a lot for my family and I just cook it and then I leave it on the counter. And so if anybody, whoever wants to eat, will come and eat it, see? Still a little bit thicker than so you can make it thinner, just add more water to it. So you can do, um, if you want, um, to three and a half, um, three and a half cup of water to four cups of water. I think it would still be okay. See? Do you want it really thin? Do you want it thin? Okay. The man says, if this is good. I can go thinner than this, but. Yep. Oh, thank you. Was what was it? Ask Edison if you want some. Oh. So I'm heating up the the oil right now, and I use vegetable oil. I like I prefer vegetable oil when I'm using this. I'm usually. Um, just because I like the taste of it. But I'm sure you can use the other stuff. I think the one that would be really, really good is um, 
for these pancakes is the coconut oil. Um, I've used it a couple recipes and I like the taste of it. It's just that it's so pricey for my for my budget. I did preheat uh, the oil and ooh, right there. It's on medium heat. So depending on your stove, what you think will work for your stove. Okay, I just need to set the camera. There we go. I'm gonna let it heat some less. I usually start heating the oil when I know I'm gonna mix, actually mix the dough. Sorry. getting um paper towels i got like three sheets of it um or what do they call them huh the three little quarter paper towels and i'm gonna put it on a plate i just put it on a plate like that see this is there's a plate underneath this and i put it here there we go i can't see it right there like that you probably know that already but I'm gonna check the oil. Okay, not a lot. Um, you can always adjust the oil. Remember, you're not deep frying it. See, it it's hot, but not hot as as hot as I want. If I sound like I'm breathing really heavily, I just don't know because I do have asthma, so. You can Wake use a up. ladle or a cup to measure it. I usually find these very helpful when I'm pouring the, the batter inside the frying pan. So now it's hot. That is hot. That sound. What I did, I just whipped my hands. Not a lot of water, just it doesn't drip. And I just it on the, and that's how I find out it. So, here is the panjike. I put some in here. Okay, I have a lot of other frying pans, but I like the old one. So, this is how you make it really, really thin. How you spread it out. I mean, you can use a spoon too, but to me, it's kind of messy. There we go. You want to, you know, when you when you're making it, you can use a timer to time it. I usually, you know, just look at the corner. I mean, the edges, and if they're brown, then I just flip it over. Well, I can always check the bottom of it. I'm just going to show you a couple of how. Yeah, and it doesn't really take that long 
to cook. It's just that I, we like it a little more crispier than normal. I'm so sorry. I'm not one to, when I usually make food, I never use recipes. I just, it's all in my hand, like how much portion. So I had to kind of like learn how to do it this way because this whole idea of sharing it on on social media was my um, daughter's idea. She wanted to learn how to cook. She wanted to learn the rest of the, the salmon recipes especially. Or, well, not just the salmon recipe because she likes a lot of other food that I make. Right, Eddie? Mm -hmm. So, I did it on Facebook, some of these recipes, but I didn't do a whole lot. Um, just having issue with that those live videos so that's why I'm back on YouTube So, you see, it is getting brown. We want it a little bit crispier. The the runny, um, the more runny the the dough is, the thinner it, the, the thinner it will be. So here we go. See that? It is brown. I do have a bigger pan, but I like these old pans that I have. That's the, the, and the reason why I like it to use it for. Um, I like to use those pans for when I'm frying stuff like this. I think they can even hear it. And you can even turn up the stove. I don't know if you, you know, if you want it quicker. Because they don't take much to. And I did turn up the stove a little. It doesn't take much to, to cook it. It's just that if you want it. It tastes better when it's really brown. For those that have never had from Kiki before. I was going to do a live on that. On what? On our anniversary <laughs> today. Yeah. I was. It's quite entertaining. It is. You ask what she. Oh, sorry. I'm just talking here. <laughs> Today's our anniversary. 26 years. But. What you can do is. You write questions and you ask me questions and then I ask you questions. It's 
always fun when you do question and answer. Yeah, Q and A. It's really good. Ooh, it's. Oh, I'm gonna show you. Oh, it's hot though. Hmm? I love when get this thing. This is really good with coco salmon. Coco salmon coco. And it's good with hot chocolate also or I never had it with coffee because we don't drink coffee but it, I'm sure it was good It's really yummy. What my sister used to do, she would um, spread, um, squeeze, squeeze um, lemon on top of it when she takes it out, and then she'll add more. Um, a little more the granulated, uh, granulated sugar, the white sugar. So it's it was it's really yummy. I Even mean, though a lot of sugar. See? That's oh here we go. So I hope you enjoyed that video of the funny cake. Oh let's do this. Okay folks. Thanks for watching and subscribe, okay? Push that like button also while you're at it.